We want to release a rainbow word today is the ninth day of uh, August 2020, and we want to release a rainbow word to the Church of Jesus Christ as a prophetic author by the grace of God. So the Bible says in the book of Second Timothy, I have I already said that I have the word of God in my spirit because it's a rainbow word, and so I'm requesting that those who are watching us kindly, if from your house and from wherever you're coming from, or wherever you're going to watch this word, make sure you have a pen or a paper, have the word of God, write it down so that you can learn with it because you need that word for now because it is a rainbow word. A rainbow word, it is a now word from the mouth of the Lord. Now, uh, Paul speaking to the son Timothy in the, second, the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1 and verse 7, I have the word of God, so I'm going to release the word of God. So he's saying that God has not given us the spirit of fear. Now, I want to caution the church in the world, if you, you are a child of God, you are a son of God, and you are still fearful, that spirit is not coming from God. Hallelujah. Amen. God is speaking to the son and telling the son that God has not given us, so we know that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power. Come on, somebody say power. Oh. The spirit of love and the spirit of sound, my hallelujah. Now, this is the spirit where we are coming from, that the spirit that is coming from our God, you know, where we are coming from, where we are, where we have been crafted in. The Bible says, as many as believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, they were given the power to become the sons of God. Now we are seeing, we are, we are letting Jesus be our firstborn brother. Hallelujah! In Him there is no fear. Hallelujah! In Him there is power. The Bible says that our kingdom is a kingdom of power. Come on, somebody! Our kingdom is not a kingdom of Coward. Hallelujah. God is not a God of cowards. He's a God of, you know, Jesus was speaking one time to the disciples and he told them that I have already conquered the world. I have already conquered Corona. I have already conquered anything. He has already conquered the world. And he told them, you are more than the conquerors. Hallelujah. We shall not be conquerors. We are already more than conquerors. Hallelujah. Amen. So Timothy is being cautioned or admonished by the Father, and the Father is telling him, You have come to a kingdom that operates in a spirit, not a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, power of God does not come from education, you know the other things. And it does not come from the from the from the kind of a kind you are driving, the estate you are living as a child of God. That thing comes from the spirit of God. So for you to draw from the power of God, you must be in tune with the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Now the other thing is that it is a kingdom of love. It is a spirit of love. Yes. The kingdom we belong is a spirit is a, is a kingdom that is full of love. The Bible says that God is love. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, God is speaking and saying, among the three, the greater one is love. Oh, hallelujah. You have a mercy and all those things you are speaking in tongues, but the greater one among all those is love. Because our kingdom is a kingdom of love. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the other thing is sound in mind. That means you are able to make the right judgment. Hallelujah. Amen. When the world is getting confused, huh? the children of God, we shall be able to make the right decision. Hallelujah. Amen. Because in us, we have sound in mind. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. That's your neighbor. You can shout in your atmosphere and tell your neighbor, we are not confused. Confused. Yeah, not confused. Confused. Hallelujah. Amen. I am, we are not confused because yes. sour. We are yes. all right. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. When you see us walking on the street, we are sober. Amen. Sour to mind. We are able to make when you have sour mind, you are able to write, to make the right judgment. Amen. You are able to make the right decision. Amen. Hallelujah. In the life of the children of God, there is nothing like confusion. Yeah. We are sober. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So and now I want us to look at the at a story. I'll be giving you eight points. Now, I want us to look at a story in the book of 2 Kings. You can read chapter 6 and verse 7. Uh, chapter 6 and uh, chapter 7. The second Kings, I said I'm going to be very fast. I'm a fast preacher. I'm a fast prophet. Now, there's no time to waste. The Bible says you got <laughs> you watch over because there's no time to waste. Yeah. Now, the Bible says, uh, the Bible says in the book of Second Kings, chapter 6 and chapter 7, it is a story about a particular nation that was going through a season of famine. And the Bible is showing us the famine in Samaria was tough. It was a tough season for the nation of Samaria. And the Bible is showing us even the king of that particular nation did not have a solution. Hallelujah. My Jehovah, even if people had, had paid their taxes, the king did not even have enough stock to take care of his 
princesses. Yeah. We have such kind of kings in the world. My yes. Jehovah God. People who do not, who, who have no, uh, you know, they, 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 they have no stock for the future of their people. Hallelujah. Yes. Now the Bible says, when it go to that level, people were even feeding on donkey's head. Hey, donkey in Hallelujah. People were selling it. It was, it was, it was food for, for people. Mania Jiwa. Oh my God. Hallelujah. It was food. It was that tough in that particular nation. And the Bible is showing us there was a prophet of God, Prophet Elisha. He was there. Now, if you look at the Bible, kill the scriptures, the Bible does not say that the prophet of God with the people he was serving with, they were suffering, they were suffering famine. The famine was there in that nation, but God had spared the prophet. Until one moment, the king is sending a troop, the king is sending people from his state house to go and confront the prophet because they thought, well, how can we have a prophet in a nation and we are suffering famine? Hallelujah. Because prophet is not the author of Caesar's. God is the order of seasons. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So the Bible says, the Bible shows me, I'm going to be very fast. The Bible shows me when the, the people who were sent from a state house of their time, when they went to the house, on their way to the house of the, of the prophet of God, the prophet of God saw it in the spirit. Uh, the spirit of power. Amen. The prophet saw with the spiritual eyes, the prophetic eyes, from the comfort of his house. And he's telling his servant, may you face them, face those people. Uh, 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 speak to the people who are coming from the state house or from the from the from the king's house and tell them, that says the Lord. Yes, there is famine in Samaria, but that says the Lord. Tomorrow, a time like this, in the nation where there is famine, where people are eating the uh, the tea was pupus, you know they were eating those things. Oh my God. Where people are eating dog and meat. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, a time like this, there is a season of famine. There is a season of dryness. Everybody is confused, including the king. They are at their end. They don't have solutions. But tomorrow, a time like this, because in the life of the prophet, there is the God of the all of seasons. <laughs> so tomorrow, a time like this. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to paraphrase that to what I said in the morning. Amen. I want to paraphrase this. Tomorrow, there will be plenty. Hallelujah. Amen. There has been dryness. Amen. There has been lack. But tomorrow, a time like this, at the word of the prophet of God, he's saying, I am from the comfort of my house, I have changed a season in a nation. Uh -uh. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible shows me that at the word of the prophetic word went to the atmosphere. Now, I want to surprise you. That, that officer who had been sent by the king, when he heard the word from the prophet, he said, in the name God opens the front gate of heaven. But even if the windows of heaven are open, hallelujah, this one of the prophet cannot come to be, and cannot become a reality. But the prophet is saying, ha ha, you have had it, you are going to see it, but you will not be a partaker. You have had the word of God, the prophet has spoken, you are going to see it with your eyes, because the Bible says, in the book of 2 Chronicles 20 and 20, Believe in the Lord your God, you are going to be established. Yes. Believe in his prophet, you are going to prosper. Yes. And that's why I'm telling the church, your prosperity is not running out of skelter from one prophet to another. Uh -huh. And so in the sin that you are doing all those things. If you believe with the, uh, if you believe in the pastor, that is your father in the Lord in that sanctuary, you are going to prosper. Hallelujah. Yes. Do not despise that one there. Believe in that one. Yes. That is where your prosperity is. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible says the following day. Ah, tell you the following day. Oh. I'm saying tell you even on the TV, one of the day, day, the, day. the kid will be taken. Yes. Tell you that if it is your husband in the house, yes. the following day. Yes. And it happened to be that there were four lepers, my God. The people who do not tell you the people who do not look like. Yes. My God, yes. me, I, like, yes. I love preaching. Yes. Those people do not look like. You know, yes. the leprosy was eating some part of your body. Yes. Maybe one of them, uh, the, the nose had been eaten yes. apart. Ah. Maybe one of them, the eye was not there. Maybe the other one, some part of the hair was not there. Nevertheless, there is a prophetic word in the atmosphere. And when there is a word of God in the atmosphere, the Bible says uh, that the God will follow up his word to perform it. Ah. Oh my God. God will follow up his word to perform it. Even concerning my country, Kenya. And God may not use the people who are up there. But God can use it to chocolate on the streets. God will use 
ya saina ile ja tuko nayo the kind of hunger we have today my god we have never felt it before my god god is about to cause people to go through something yeah. i think of the prophetic word of, of god in your life yeah. to become a reality in the name of jesus so these people became hungry and they are like god we cannot sit here when they have been seated all through they are not saying we cannot sit here because if we sit here we shall die we, and we shall not go back to our people because our people know that we are not supposed to be in their midst. So they, we are not going to uh, uh, tell them about avoid rivers gears. Avoid rivers gears. Somebody intimidated you, you still want to be associated with them? Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody hurt you, you still want to be uh, to be in a relationship with them? Shut the doors, bang the door and leave. Amen. Hallelujah. So they are saying. And the people who know your weaknesses, you're not born again. Mm -hmm. I, I call them the senior brother syndrome, the older brother syndrome. You remember the, the story of the of the, the prodigal oh, son, yes. the older brother. The brother has come back and he's alive. He doesn't want to see people celebrate. Hallelujah. So now the Bible shows me this man said they are speaking one language. They are saying we shall not go back to Samaria because there we are already outcasts. They know our weaknesses. They know we are sick. They know we are. But well, actually, immediately they see us according to the custom. They may stone us and we may die. No, they purpose. Tell your neighbor, even those who are watching us, tell your neighbor purpose. It is a season to purpose. Hallelujah. When you are making something, you are making a decision, you purpose in your heart. It does not matter who is going to pat my shoulders. It does not matter who is going to encourage us. But one thing I know, if God be for me, nothing can be against me. Hallelujah. So they purpose and they say, we are going to the camp of our enemies. My God, I love this. That's what I'm saying. Our kingdom is a kingdom of power. Amen. If you are a coward without a gun and without a troop, you cannot face the king that camp. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking about four men and they are going to the camp of Ugandans, a nation, another nation. Mm. Uh, Samaria was a nation. Syria was another nation. Yes. So they are going to the camp of a whole nation, four lepers. Uh. Mm. With no, with no machetes, with no weapons, no armor and nothing. But they are saying, if they spear us, we live. If they kill us, we die. Time to neighbor, tell your neighbor, purpose. Purpose. If you have to see the fulfillment of the prophetic word of God in your life right now, you must purpose. Hallelujah. No, no matter who, no matter what, you must purpose. Hallelujah. That's why Paul is saying we have that spirit of sound mind. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible says, and they rose and they went. And I'm going to stop the story there. They rose and they went. And as they were going, my Jehovah, God went ahead of them. Now, I want, I want to give you a revelation today. Now, before they got the quickening, before those four lepers got the quickening, in the atmosphere, the word of God, from the prophet of God, had already gone ahead of them. Amen. So the word was already ahead. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Even in this work of faith, Jesus is the word of God in the form of flesh. He has already gone ahead of us. Amen. That is why he's saying, I have already overcome the world. Where we are right now, whether you have money or you don't have what, blah, blah, blah. All those things included together, Jesus has already overcome. The word has already gone ahead of us. So, before this four has rose up, there was already a word of God ahead. Why they are connecting with the hunger and everything? Because there was already a word of God in the atmosphere that had already gone ahead to settle the matter and to sort out the family that was already there in the nation of Samaria. Hallelujah. So, they are rising to fit in and to flow in the world. Uh -uh. They are rising to fit in and to flow in the world. Now, when you are rise to flow in and to fit in the word of God for the season, you will never be ashamed. Amen. Amen. There will be no shame. Amen. Are you living in church? Yes. When that's why we have the prophetic graces to tell you where we are and what we are supposed to be. And that's why I came to your life today. Amen. Hallelujah. Because Amen. I'm about to give you eight points. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So these men are rising not yesterday. They are rising on time. When there is a word of God in the season and for the season in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. And they are taking a step by faith in the season of God, not in the season. That's why the Bible says, in God's time, all things become beautiful. Mm. Woo! Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, listen to this. Tell you about our kingdom is a kingdom of power. Kingdom is a kingdom of power. Today, today, I came to 
all of us, including those who are going to watch, to watch us. You cannot sit down and complain like the people of the world in this season. Whether it is dark in your country, whether things are not working, whether company people are losing jobs, you are not going to be one of them. People will lose jobs when you'll be looking for promotion so that you can be promoted. Up. Hallelujah. Marriages in the world will have, will have issues, but the marriages of the I prophesy that the marriages of the children of God will become sweeter. They will become better in the name of Jesus. People will go without food, without good things, but the Bible says all good things come from our Father. So we shall have good things. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So, what is the name of what? The name of what is, number one, I said, prepare yourself. I'm about to be very fast because of time. The media time is that minute. Now, listen, look, look, look at this. Now, these four men are rising up not because, not because they were not hungry before. They were hungry before. But this particular day, there is a word of God in the atmosphere that needs to be fulfilled. And I'm saying to the hearing of everybody today that when God needs something perfected in your life, he will not come in a person. He can either use an angel because angels are all ministering spirits, or he can either use a human being. He can use anything and anybody. I say anything. Amen. Because the Bible says that creation is groaning perfectly, waiting, perfect, perfectly waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So they are waiting, even at the small insect we step on, they are waiting for the sons of God to be manifested. Hallelujah. That means God can use anything. Even a cow in, your, in, your, in, your, in the cow shed, in your compound. God can even use a cat. God can use a even during the time of a writer. And you know those things, they love meat. And they, used to, they did not have a human crock. But they knew it is time for the man of God to eat. <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God can use anything. Yes. Have you ever heard about a donkey speaking? The donkey spoke in the Bible. God can use anything. The donkey was seeing what a human being could not see. Oh. God can open the eyes of the cat in your house. Thank you, neighbor. Tell you, neighbor. The Bible says in the book of Job, in this case, God will pour his strength upon every flesh, including the cat. Yes. <laughs> Number one. Yes. <laughs> so, you be very alert. Hallelujah. Be very alert. You could be looking for something in your house, and then you are seeing the cat just go down somewhere. Go there and check. Be in tune with your spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, not everything is a demon in your compound. Some of them will be sent to sort you out. Number one. So the Lord is speaking that I'm going to be very fast. So these four men are rising on time. Because in the atmosphere, the word of God has gone ahead. And as I minister this, I'm hearing a, a quicken in the spirit. I'm hearing a whisper in the spirit that let us remember. Let us remember. Many of us are complaining for nothing. Let us remember. If there be any prophetic word of God in your life, it is now time to remember. Hallelujah. Amen. That word went ahead of you, so that now you may catch up. Amen. That you may catch up with God now. Amen. Because it is time for that word to become a reality. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time. Amen. Are you in the church? Yes. Even in the nation of Kenya, I stand against the prophet of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. It is time. Are you in the church? Yes. Even in the nation of Kenya, I stand as a prophet of God today. There is no cause for Adam in this country. It is time for Kenya to become the divine, the springboard of revival Amen. that has been prophesied many years in Jesus' name. Amen. Whoever God will clear, I don't know. Whatever God will clear, I don't know. But God, God's word has gone ahead of us. So it is becoming to be, it is time for that word to be fulfilled now in the name of Jesus. So number one, the Lord is speaking to the church about unity of purpose. Unity of purpose. In your marriage, if there is a word of God in our marriage, be united, husband and wife. Hallelujah. You are not fighting each other. Amen. Be united. Let there be unity of purpose. In that company, you need to see God. If there is a prophetic word of God in your career, let there be unity of purpose. You may be telling woman of God, I am not married. It is all right. I don't have somebody to pray with in my house. It is all right. But if there is a word of God for your destiny, agree with the Holy Trinity. Amen. Let there be unity of purpose. Yes. Be in agreement Amen. with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So these men are agreeing. There is unity of purpose. Hallelujah. We are not going back. This one is not saying this. The other one is saying this. They are great. There is the unity of purpose from within their hearts. Hallelujah. So number two, I'm going to be very fast. Number two. Now I'm speaking to the church and saying, let us have one faith with 
without doubt. Let us have one faith, one faith, one faith. Let us not have the church. Others are saying this, others are doing this. Others, we don't have two bodies of Christ. The body of Jesus Christ is one. We don't have two common, we don't have two enemies of the church. Our common enemy is the devil, not among us ourselves. Hallelujah. So the Lord is talking about one heart without doubt. If we have to conquer in that marriage, as long as there is a word of God that has gone ahead of you, then we have one heart. Hallelujah. Let our heart be brought together. That's why I'm saying we are coming from a kingdom that is of love. Hallelujah. Let us be brought together with the cause of love. When we say it is A, everybody is saying A. That is what we are singing in the lives of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. One is, one is not doubting. Shall God be by us or shall we the world? They are grieving. There is one, they are in one heart yes. without any doubt. And they are saying, Kingly forever. We shall not bow and worship the idol. In the name of God does not save us. We shall act. One heart. Yes. No doubt. Hallelujah. Amen. Because there is a price. Doubt will always fail you. If you doubt, the Bible says you believe and you don't doubt. Matthew, Mark 11, 24, 25. You don't, when you pray and you don't doubt, whatever you ask for from the Father, He will give you so that your joy may be full. Hallelujah. Amen. And that those things will be yours. He will give it unto you. Why many of us are not listening from the Lord? It's because, oh my God. Una, you, you begin praying now and you begin praying in the spirit but then you are opening the physical eye hallelujah and you are, you are getting things in the physical if they don't and don't I have a shortcut hallelujah now in the things of God if you are like that you will never have it yeah. hallelujah amen. because God is a father amen? Yeah, amen so have one heart without doubt let our heart be knitted in that faith in the Lord without doubt number three that's what we are seeing this man they, their hearts were one. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. We are not going back. We are not going to stay here. We go to the camp of the enemy. Yes. One heart. Hallelujah. So in that marriage, for you to see the victory and the faithfulness of God and what he has promised you, the Lord is talking about one heart. That is the lemma word for now. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The church in Kenya, the Lord is saying, let us stop concentrating on the four walls. The Lord is speaking about one heart. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Our age to be a... Hallelujah. We cannot have a church that is saying B, the other one is saying D. That is a confused law. That is not the body of Jesus Christ. In Jesus, there is no confusion. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. Number three. Yeah. <laughs> Number three. The Lord is speaking to the church. Let us be in agreement in deeds and in words. Yeah. We be in agreement. Agreement. Hallelujah. Matthew 18, 19 or 18, 18. Hallelujah. You can mm -hmm. get the scriptures for yourself. The Bible says, whatever you shall agree, God honors agreement. Rama handle robo zia. God honors agreement. After the Bible says, when we agree on something and we lose it here on earth, even in heaven, it shall be done what? It shall be loose. Hallelujah. If we bind something here today, even in heaven, it shall be bound. So the Lord is talking about agreement in words and in deeds. Hallelujah. Woo! We shall not go this way. We are going ahead. Agreement in words and in deeds. Number four, hallelujah. Number four, the Lord is speaking to the church about forgetting all our past. Forgetting all our past. Hallelujah. Amen. Forgetting all our past. Because my brethren, you cannot change your past. But you can change your present and you can change your tomorrow. So forget your past. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. When we forget all our past, God is doing a new thing. But when you are still concentrated, now this were for their past. They are not. They, they, they are forgetting where they are coming from. They are forgetting where they are special for now. For a moment, can you forget that you don't have room in your house? Oh my! I love the Lord. Hallelujah! Because if you concentrate on your past, you concentrate on the inabilities of now. You will not be able to take, to, take, to take a step of faith. But if you shut the doors of your past, ah, Amen. oh my God! Hallelujah! Amen. We were cast out of our of our people because we are lepers. We are now here outside the gate. If we, we concentrate on this and we concentrate on where we are coming from, we are not able to take a step. And where we are coming from and where we are, nobody can encourage you to break. Mm. Everybody is bothered about their, their lives. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. So if you focus on the order, the order is the future of your faith. The one who began a good work in your life is still going to bring that work into accomplishment. Hallelujah. Mm. If you are still waiting for people to encourage you, all oh, unto you. Hallelujah. People, maybe the people you are waiting are so already have to go.
broken. Maybe some of them are not even in faith anymore. So it is you to focus on the order and the finisher of your faith. Hallelujah. So forget your past and forget the pain of now. Hallelujah. And focus on where God is taking you. Now, this forever, I'm focusing where? Ahead. Hallelujah. They are focusing ahead. And as they move ahead, God is showing them the faithfulness in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Number five. I don't know what number five is, but the Lord is saying, we act by faith. Act by faith. Are you listening to me today? Yeah. Act by faith. Now, I want to surprise you. The four lepers had not even gone to visit the camp of the enemies before. They are acting. Oh, Woo! Hallelujah. They have a church in this house. Yes. They are acting by faith. Wanda, as you feel it. Let me tell you the truth. The Bible says that those who hope in the law will never be disappointed. Now, I'm urging you by the mercies of God, you may have applied a job where God promised you two years ago and they turned you back. I came to challenge you by the mercies of God as a voice of God in this world. The Lord is saying, church in the world, arise and take up a step of faith. Arise and act by faith. And you act, there will be no shame. Yes. Yeah. That is going to cushion your marriage. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, yesterday, 
sister in a certain county. The Lord spoke to me when I was coming back to Nairobi, and he told me, daughter, bless the children of of, of, of my children. Yet they were taught to our taught to our taught to our mungu. When I see, maybe the children, I don't know what is about to happen to children or what is happening to children, to children. But the Lord told me, make a prayer cover. Prayer cover. Hallelujah. Prayer cover for the children of my children in the Lord. I'm about to do that today. I'll be calling you in your houses. I need to make a prayer to, 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 to prayer cover the children of my, my, my children in the Lord. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you the truth. You need it. Because right now, there are some things you cannot fight with. But they are not telling grace. Why are you to put that? So, shan fear. Shan fear. We may not look like, but we have the grace. Amen. Let us speak to your life. Before even you get into that relationship, let the man or the woman of God speak a, speak a word. Yeah. We can discern, even from where we are sitting, we can discern what we cannot discern. Mm. Many people are even adventuring to do some things with their money. <coughs> it's not so you lose a lot of money. You lose a lot. Relationship, you are even called. Hallelujah. Amen. So, shall fear, but remain connected. Remain connected. Remain connected. Go and read the word of God in the book of John chapter 15. I'm hearing that in the spirit right now. Fear will make you, uh, will, will of course, you make the wrong decisions. Eh? Avoid double-mindedness. In the fear, I'm talking about making the wrong decisions. Fear, without fear. You know, when you're not fearing, you're able to make a firm decision. Yeah. A decision where you're not going to regret. When you don't have fear in your life, you don't have double-mindedness. You are stable in your decisions. Hallelujah. Because there is no fear in your life. And you are able to fit in well and to do what God, uh, God's Spirit has intended for your life. Remember number seven. Remember, remember what? Number seven. Remember number seven is avoid self-pity. Avoid self-pity. Now these four lepers, they are not even pitying themselves. Maybe one of them is leaping. The other one is, I don't know how they are walking. Maybe even one is not able to speak well. They are not pitying themselves. We are on a target. Hallelujah. God has called me a businesswoman. I am on a target. I cannot pity myself. Whether I know how to speak English or not, whether I'm, I'm, I'm able to speak Kiswahili or not. Hallelujah. Don't pity yourself. Avoid self-pity as a child of God. Hallelujah. Lemma number eight. I'm finishing. Lemma number eight is that anytime you hear the word of God, anytime you hear a prophetic word, God is saying, God is saying, is that the word of God has already gotten you where you are, you have not been able to reach physically. So the Lord is saying, anytime and anyone you have heard from me, I have already gone ahead of you. Amen. God is already ahead. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Any word you have, you have heard from the mouth of the Lord, God has already gone ahead. Now that means when you take a step of faith as a son of God and you walk that direction, you will have found God has sorted out everything ahead there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we are seeing with the four lepers. By the time they go to the camp of their saviors, you no, know, God amplified their steps. God began working on them and for them. Hallelujah. Now I want to finish by saying, God has already gone ahead of you. Go for your promotion. Go for your marriage. Go for your ministry. Go for your business. Go for your career. Church in the world, the Lord is saying, the scriptures are there. The number one has been reached by the prophets of God. God is saying, as long as my word has come forth, I have only gone ahead of you. Hallelujah. Take a step of faith without fear and go my direction. And you are going to encounter victory after victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There will be no shame. And I'm hearing a, a, a statement in the spirit that every desire we have in the Lord, as long as it, it is a, it is fitting into the will of God, it will be granted so that our joy may be full in the name of Jesus. The four lepers needed food. They are entering the camp of the enemy. They find the food, they find the money, they find the clothes until they are like, oh, the one house has kachubari, the other one has roiko and the and, and, and pilau, the other one has nematoma, chicken hot. Hey, hallelujah. And they are saying now, these days are a day of good report. We cannot keep it to ourselves. Hallelujah. You become a channel of blessing. You become a solution in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I finished by saying, can we allow God to use us Amen. in this hour in the name of Jesus? Can you allow God to use you in that marriage where things are stuck? 
Can you allow the Lord to use you? In the ministry where you fellowship, where you are in that particular nation, can you allow the Lord to use you for his own glory to become a solution in that country? Not church we are praying and praying is good, but there is somewhere we are really failing, a place of taking steps of faith. There, church, there we are failing. And the Lord is saying, praying is good, but praying without action, faith without action, faith without words is dead. The Lord is saying, yes, you have prayed here, like the four lepers, you are there, you know the need, but then arise and do what you are supposed to do by faith in Jesus' name. And by so doing, you are going to enjoy the solution that are going to encourage you and even encourage others for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So the word of the prophet came to pass. Tomorrow, a time like this, there will be food in Samaria. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether somebody believed it or not, it came to pass. I finish by saying, if the Lord has said it, it is coming to pass in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. If the Lord has spoken, hallelujah, that is a sure of I hear the Spirit of God say, if the Lord has spoken, that is a sure deal. Amen. It is not trial and error. If God has spoken, that one is a sure deal in Amen. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord watch over you. And may the Lord be glorified in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Timothy. That is a scripture. Let me finish with that faith. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. Paul is speaking to Timothy and he's showing him the kingdom where we belong. And he's saying, our God has not given us the spirit of fear. Fear is not coming from God. Fear is coming from hell. But in our kingdom, the spirit we belong to is a spirit of love, spirit of sound mind, and a spirit of power. Hallelujah. So can you walk in the three things? And you're going to enjoy the faithfulness of God in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen.